The kids are playing a game called Clumsy Thief Junior. There's no way I can steal that pile because that raccoon is trapped. Yeah. That's your pile forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so One, see this pile? Two. What number is this, Jackson? That's on top. Seven. Seven. Okay, so go to your cheat sheet, find your seven. Oh. Point to the seven. Good. What do you need to make ten if you have seven? Three. In this video, I'm going to be getting some stuff done. We're going to do the rest of school. Board games are part of school for us. We're going to do the rest of school for the day. I got to go to Staples and pick up some things I had printed and bound professionally for our homeschool co-op. Um, I got to get the kids to gymnastics. I got to get them registered for the next session for gymnastics. My husband's going to tag in at gymnastics and I am going to go get my hair cut finally. And my husband's going to take everybody to karate and then we'll be meet back home for some dinner. I need to weed my garden, prune my tomatoes. I got a shower, so that part's done. It's not a coincidence that I have been making getting stuff done videos lately because my energy is higher. In this video, I talked about intermittent fasting and how the number one benefit for me has been my energy returning. Just the ability to get stuff done is possible because I've dropped two sizes, lost seven pounds. I'm actually up to nine pounds. I've lost nine pounds so far. And so it's just, I finally have the energy again to do the things in life that need doing. Thank you to Noom for sponsoring the next minute in this video. Noom is a digital health platform and they recognize that there's more to living a healthy life than just being at a healthy weight. They have food and exercise trackers. You can track your weight in the app, which I do as well. Um, and I also love the coach that's in here. It's actually a real person that I have a conversation with. One of my favorite lessons was when it asked me the why behind I am even using Noom. Why am I focusing on my own health? To realize that I'm not doing this to lose weight and watch the scale to go down. I'm doing this for my kids and for myself. Click the link in the description box to take your free Noom evaluation. It is quick, it is easy, and will help you create your own custom plan. I've had a few success factors in why I've been able to lose nine pounds and drop two sizes in the last two months, and Noom is one of them. Noom keeps me accountable and teaches me things. Plus walking, plus intermittent fasting, and that combination is really just jump-starting my health. Good job, Jackie. Put your put your paper in the done basket, for Mom. I haven't had breakfast in a while. Go eat a, a bowl of cereal. You had breakfast 20 minutes ago. I do eat so much. You did so good. day of the week? Thursday. Thursday. Rebecca, if today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Sunday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, if today is Thursday, what's tomorrow? Aww. Wednesday. Friday. <laughs> Very good. All right, everybody. Come get your writing books. There we go, you're on that page today. So remember, we start at the beginning. And we see, we did this page, we did this page. Have you done that one? Yep. Okay, let's do that one. Part of our morning basket is wild reading. And we are on the beginning. We are doing letter M and we're gonna do on Thursday's work here. And I'm adding in something from 
Plato to Plato. We're gonna do some magic words with some crayons today. All right, we're gonna use the moon book today. Okay, and when we hear an M word, we're gonna write it on the sheet with a white crayon and then color it with a marker, okay? So this is moon, okay? A peek through picture book. I see you. Jackie, I see you. Three Do you see me? Yeah. <laughs> moon. M -m 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 moon. Moon. Is that an M word? Yes. Yep. Go ahead and spell it with your white crayon. This looks really good too. Nice, dude. I'm pointing at the mouth of the marker. Ah, oh, Jackie, I see your letters. Oh, nice letters. That's a good way to go. Write it in color first, then trace it with the. Yeah. Push hard with the crayon, buddy. Good. And I wrote our next M word for you. You can trace it if you want. Totally up to you, okay? Wait, mine is going on number two. Peek a boo. Peek a boo. Can you turn the page so I can read the next one? Okay, are we ready? Okay. okay. A breeze blows softly. Softly. Softly across the land. Rippling through the desert sand. Good job cleaning up, guys. Becca's still gonna work for a little while. She wants to do that. Now, Jackson, do you know the state we live in? What's the name of the state that we live in? Mm, Maryland. Maryland, very good. What letter does mm, mm, Maryland start with? M. M. Yeah. Guys, check out these. <gasps> <laughs> Maryland brochures. Maryland brochures. Go, go on the rug and open it up. And Jackson, which one do you want? And it's for blue. Mm. Rebecca is for pink. And moon is I'll for purple. Like this. Bex. Oh, Becca got birds. She loves birds. Becca, look. You can open it up. And these are all birds and trees and wildflowers that are all part of Maryland, you guys. So when we're going on our walks and stuff, we can we can start to identify. We're going to be able to identify some of our things. It's a northern cardinal. Northern cardinal. That's the one we always have in the backyard, right? Yep. You're going to keep doing this for a little while? Done! Okay. You're all done. You can do um, reading eggs or ABC mouse. What are you going to do? ABC mouse. Okay. Then reading eggs. Okay. Bex, what are you doing? Oh, you're finding words here in your book? Yeah. Honey, I love that. You're just picking any word? Good for you. Are you going to do the whole page? Yeah. Love it. Love Um, I did both of those twice. Thank you. Let me hear Brennan's amazing E, F, and G song. All the way past your thumb. <laughs> So uh, this is pre-K, first grade, second grade, um, and we have a math curriculum, but today what they did was play a game for math and I'm counting it and that's fine. We've got some sight words, explore the code, some vocab and word study, and um, all about reading. My daughter, my first grader and my pre-K are using all about reading. And then silent reading, my second grader is making his way through this basket. This is my first grader's readers for this year and then all my teacher stuff is down there these are magnetiles for my pre-k three different special sets in here so i've got this book that i read to him and then as i'm reading we'll do a sequence like he'll say okay one apple or he'll sequence in the book there we go he ate through an apple he ate through two pairs and we'll find the two pairs and he'll build a sequence. About sequencing and listening, and uh, a tactile way for him to listen to the story. And there's the same one for 
Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? And grouchy ladybug. And then grouchy ladybug also has a set. And here's the clock for sequencing again and matching things up. So uh, both pre-K level books that I read to him and he plays with magnet tiles while I read him. Nice, I'm getting the rock world. Okay, what you playing? ABC Mouse? Yep. Nope, I'm playing big numbers. Big numbers? I just okay. got What are you playing? World. That's not a learning game. Try again. All right, the kids went pierogies for lunch, so that's what I'm gonna make. I usually have cream and mushroom soup on the side for dipping or coating the pierogies, but I don't have that. Uh, also gonna put out some strawberries and some carrots with ranch, and that'll be their lunch. I also usually um, make chicken nuggets with this, but I'm also out of that. So that makes me think I gotta do some meal planning and some grocery shopping today as well if I don't have some of my staples. So when I have a new recipe that I've tried, <laughs> I mark on it and this means everybody loved it. That's what my symbol is. And then I add it to my book and I have my recipe binder. I have them all organized basically by meat type and then sort of other categories like crock pot and sides, desserts, brunch. I have two desserts. I have never noticed that. I guess we really like desserts in our house. That's hilarious. Anyway, this is meat, beef, beef. And then at the beginning of each of my ch tabs, chapters, whatever, I have a running list, a numerated running list, in the order in which they are in the section. So these are all, and it has to be like tried and true recipe that we make, family favorite, for it to make the cut, for it to be added to the list. From Julia's channel, uh, I'll link her below, but she puts out the best, easiest family recipes that are delicious. And technically, I could also cross index it with my crock pot side. So sometimes I do that too. And I just write it in here. And instead of adding it a second time to the binder, I just write sea beef. It's 11.41. I usually break my fast at about 11. So went a little bit longer today. And I am not eating pierogies and whatnot. I am breaking my fast with a smoothie. This is my protein powder. I just refill it in my glass jar to make it smaller and easier. And I'm gonna use up the rest of our blueberries, add in some mangoes, and I use vanilla unsweetened almond milk. I will leave a blog post below with my smoothie recipes that I'm currently enjoying if you're interested in the, in the whole recipe and some other ideas too. This is just a vanilla protein powder that I use. So I get a little protein when I break my fast. And the other time I break my fast is with avocado toast, just like break my fast with, fa with uh, a fat. These blueberries still good? They're fine. All right, I'll have one more smoothie tomorrow. And I usually put about 16 ounces. And so I make a pretty big smoothie but it's the only thing I'll have for a couple hours. And I use it, I, I put it in my hydro flask so it lasts, it stays cold and, and safe longer. Where's my lid? I use Ninja, I'll, I'll leave a link below for this one that we have, but this thing chops up frozen mangoes. I mean, it, it, I really make it work <laughs> for me. the stuff okay there's carrots strawberries turkey strawberries to start with and pierogies are coming okay
Look at Rangy. <laughs> Sunbathing in my container gardening. Boy. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'm such a good boy. So we got the DNA results back for Mr. Ranger. We did the wisdom doggy DNA. He is 50% German Shepherd. And then a mixture of three other breeds for the other 50%. Boxer, Lab, and Rottweiler. Alrighty, Root. We gotta go and uh, get to Staples. I'm gonna eat this first though. Right. Then turn left. This place reminds me of Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. Mommy, I'm hungry. Did you eat your oh, sandwich? Yeah, it does. Okay. This is the curriculum that we're using in our homeschool co-op on Thursdays, and this is all for Jackie. This is everything we're gonna use for class one, for class one and two. And class one is nature study, kindergarten level, and class two is science and math. So he has a little student notebook, and a student notebook for class one. This is a student notebook for class two. Hi. Where's Brynn? Brynn's on the rings. Miss Becca's doing her cartwheels. I am slightly obsessed <laughs> with my own hair right now. He did an awesome job. This might be the best haircut I've ever had in my entire life. That man knows how to treat a curl. I, mm -hmm. I got my hair cut a year ago by someone who is not trained in curly hair and she did not treat my hair the way he just treated my hair. It was with each curl had so much respect and he flipped it over to dry it. It wasn't like a towel dry situation. Uh, and then he cut like each curl. I love it. These are my uh, Marglobe tomatoes. They are looking so good. Pretty excited about that. And I pruned that recently. You can see that. But that guy, that guy needs to be pruned. And these are my grappley ones. They are so sweet. Um, and I need to get all of those little stems off the bottom and give, make sure all of their energy is going to the leaves that I'm letting stay. See, we've got some new ones growing. Yay! Some new flowers, which means they're gonna bear fruit again. So everybody's looking real healthy. I have marigolds out here to keep away those vegetable loving bugs. This is an indeterminate one. Uh, I need to repot it. I'm not doing that today, but he needs, he needs a bigger container and a cage. These indeterminate ones really kind of are like taking over their little pots. I transferred most of them into a bigger fabric bag. We are using container gardens this year because one, we're renting and we can't dig up their the owner's yard. Two, these fabric bags have served us very well. They let a lot of the water pass through, so there's really great drainage. But on the other side of that, they dry out pretty fast. So you, you do have to pay attention to how you water them. Um, this one is probably my favorite. Look at this beast. Isn't she so pretty? Look at all of her colorful peppers. There has to be 50 peppers on here. Look at these. They're getting to the final stages of red, but they're not hanging down quite yet. So they're not ready. Back here, I've got Cayenne Long Thins, which are ready. Andy's already used a few of them. And my lemon tree here in the middle. Finally found a fertilizer that it likes. All summer long, this guy has not been growing. And then about a month ago, I changed the fertilizer. And I mean, it was to here. So in a month, it's grown that much. So it loves the fertilizer. 
these guys are not happy. So their leaves are down. Some of their leaves are down. Some of their leaves are pointing up. So they need water and they need fertilizer. These two are not looking good. I need to get them transplanted and fixed up. And they're also not pruned. These guys, are, I gotta help these guys. And then I have a ton of peppers over here. My kids mixed up the tags on a couple of them. So I don't know if these are the banana peppers or the, they're not the jalapeno peppers. So they're the banana peppers. They're coming in good. Down here, these are my jalapenos. These are my jalapenos. What do I have in here? Uh, I don't know what those are. Oh, um, one of these is probably the Hungarian hot wax, I think. I don't even know. I didn't keep up with all my tags. What are these green ones? They're probably supposed to be red. Do I have a tag in this one? I don't even know what I'm growing. Oh, I do. This one, oh, Cubanel. Cubanel peppers. Yes, a couple of these were ready a few days ago and um, Andy grabbed them off and sauteed them with a little onion or with a little olive oil and garlic. They were just fantastic. All right, these two are in bad shape. I gotta help these guys. I'm gonna get busy. Gave my tomatoes a haircut <laughs> just like me i feed everybody on wednesday well everybody okay my plants <laughs> a couple dozen plants out here i feed them on wednesday nights and sunday nights with like fertilizer food and then i water them every morning and then when we have our 100 degree days they get an extra watering after the sun is far enough off the deck that they're not in the sun anymore. And I give them a little extra, little extra drinky. That's what my four-year-old calls, calls himself when he's thirsty. He says, mommy, I'm drinky. My guys out here, a little extra drink on those crazy summer heat days because they get really wilty and unhappy when they're dried out like that. And plus these fabric bags, the water seeps through quickly, which is great because you don't get root rot. I had trays underneath of them and two of them got root rot within a week from those. A couple hours later, all perked back up. I had put a little food in there, gave these guys a little food. They're looking so much better. Happy day today for these two. And the sun is baking these guys today. So they are gonna definitely need an extra soak after the sun makes its way to the back of the yard. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Would love for you to subscribe and join our family here online.